by the time my dad uh, used to speak positive, my life you saw it. started going from level to level because that's immediately when um, I started, um, I think, music, falling in love with music. Mm. So, like, you're going to be a great person. I did not know what he saw. This is the first day you meet him? Yes. Well, na dance up or... Yeah, go cruise. Ni meji bamba vibaya. After that, yenjo alikuwa na imba. Ameshuka kanishika mkono. So he was like, I'm not letting you go. I want you to join my church. Uh, he, it was not his church. Also. It, yes. Yeah, he was just yeah, a worship leader. Boy. Now, coming to know more about him, the guy is even a foreigner. <laughs> He's not even a Kenyan. Congolese. <laughs> He's a Congolese. <laughs> so, Pia, he had a lot of issues. He's not a refugee, but he had a lot of refugee. He had a lot of issues. And uh, the guy works at me. Well, um, yeah, he welcomed me to his house and um, he, the love that I got for, from him was very, very real. So sure. before staying with me, he decided to look for my uncle and uh, explain to them that now he's going to be staying with me. So enjoying church. Your uncle was like, Jukwe? Eh, sayo ilikuwa, uya ata jakuwa hapa sasa, nisa. But now I had still to continue with the same, same school of Mr. Kefa. Mm. Yeah, so thank God I wasn't paying for school fees at all. Yes. So, uh, but now you have a home. Yes, I have a home. I have school. Now, I have did food. Did this guy have kids? No, he was a single man. <laughs> yeah. What? He, he was like maybe maybe two years, no, two two or five years in Kenya, coming from Congo, and actually he was supposed to uh, go to abroad or something, but uh, he was waiting for his time. Mm. So we started living together. The guy loved me. So everyone up to date, you know, everyone knows that uh, he's my Your dad. dad. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I know. Even we look alike. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so my dad and uh, the guy really, really loved me. And he came from a big family, but he never looked at me like someone from a different, uh, who's not even the same country or anything. Yes. So this guy started teaching me French, Lingala. So like, how I, old are you at this time? Maybe I was that's... very young. Uh, I'm very bad in dates. in terms of dates and uh, all that. Yeah, but I was very, I was still young, but I was able to uh, now. So poto poto toto unajua kusuku kuhonge ka Frenchita. Naidi kusulu la Lingala, très bien. Onza kumprana? Ah, bonjour, bonjour. Comment te appelles tu? Ça va très bien. So my dad, uh, that guy, I really, really do love him. Did were there any other children now at this time? No, just you. Yes, just hey, bro, me your and life him. Is God. Yeah. So <laughs> now him, he was a praise and worship leader, and then going now to church, I became like a dance leader, sort of. You remember Maximum? I was very, very yes. good actually. What 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 he does, he like what you can pick on me. Hmm. So now. Him also, he had to make me shine, yeah. So I started a group there dancing in the church. So at how how is school at this time? School was okay, completely. Uh, it's only that I, at some point I got comfortable. Okay, so I have home, I have church, and then I have school. school. Wow. So it balanced me, and this my dad was able to insert values that I don't know how he did it. Okay, he's a teacher right now, <laughs> uh, but uh, he 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 taught me so much. I at some point I got comfortable. I didn't see myself as an orphan anymore. Mm. I didn't see myself as lacking anymore. So now I got to a point whereby I wanted to do more, and he always empowered me. You entered normal from deficit. You are normal, normal now. Yes. <laughs> so and. Uh, he knew how to, he changed my name from uh, Jibril to Gabriel. And uh, now yeah, we just had to retain the blessing. And um, yeah. Blessing, don't you think it is amazing mm. that a stranger mm. sees you mm. dancing mm. 
comes mm. and this is he sees a child not even yes. let's stop saying you now the mm. way you are looking now yes. he sees a homeless child yes so dirty mm-hmm. stinking hata yes. alikupeleka kukata nywele first mm. <laughs> you get <laughs> yes this guy is not me i thought this was like a rich guy who came to pick you up this is a guy who is my lunch was less than 5 bob he couldn't he couldn't afford that wow wow yes. wow 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 so wow. even dinner there is another family a congolese family that you used to live close to him so they used to help us whereby every evening we used to go uh eat at their place another beautiful congolese family yes, yes his name is pastor polen and the wife and uh, they had small kids by then so jioni ukishatoka shule uko church mnaenda mnakula huko so now this the you know congolese know how to cook eh as you guys as you don't cook <laughs> so they were able to cook and um, i think i was just brought up with a lot of love Yeah. Oh man mm. this is the thing eh? mm. the small time that i was with you mm. i have seen you do this mm. when i when i worked with you for a small time yeah. or not even worked with you i just used to come and observe mm-hmm. you had picked up a cowboy from mombasa yeah 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 <laughs> and you are speaking into his life yes and you are telling him he's going to be one of the biggest musicians yes. in this country yes and this guy look kama vitu ni kubaya i remember even uh, I opened you opening up s- his social media yes, yes 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 in case you wonder who we're talking about we're talking about masauti <laughs> yes like, very true yeah you were there and mm. you were telling him bro mm. wewe utakuwa normal in fact tufungue social media pages yes yes, yes. And the reason why I'm sh- I mean shock is mm. because somebody did this to you mm. and I've seen you do it for a lot of people yes, yes, even yes. people who've come to city have talked about this yeah so that guy when he's speaking life into you and mm. he's telling you you're going to be great mm. whatever did you believe him uh, n- no it was you see as a child you, uh, we we thrive or children thrive with words okay it's not even about believing mm. it's just about if you promise them something they want to see it happen right. So for me I was just in the realm of uh let he it has said yes. he has said now let me tell you something very funny the first time I bought the computer um I was very young I called him dad I've just bought a computer him himself the ones that he used to say he come and kwa amezisao do not come with that computer here without receipts <laughs> his words without receipts he couldn't believe how would Have you, you save a... and buy a computer then it was no way eh, but this is a bit later on I, yes okay eh, no but at my young age uh, trust me you i by the time my dad uh used to speak positive my life you saw it started going from level to level because that's immediately when um, i started um I think music falling in love with music. Mm. I went to a certain studio in Comarock and uh, actually my next door child, a, a small boy, I think he was in class 3 or 2. That was a guy called DK. No way. <laughs> DK could be it. DK was my neighbor, but I'm dog sana. But he loved singing. Yeah. So I wanted my first song now as an artist. I remember I was a dancer. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Now. Okay. okay. What what you nikupeleke iki tukitena. So now hear yeah, this story. Powerful. Mm-hmm. You've moved in with your uncle. Mm. Vitu zimeenda normal. You are going to school. Dad. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Your dad. <laughs> yeah. Your dad. Yeah. Things are normal. Mm. By normal we mean you're not homeless. Yes. Kuna chakula unaweza kula. Yeah. There's a place you know to sleep. There's mm. routine. Yes. Unaenda shule. Mm. Um so at this and then unaenda church. Mm. You are a very good dancer. Mm. In fact, say you mean a worship team dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. take let's take it now from there. Mm. Um what are you listening to? Gospel. Old music is No, a lot of gospel. A lot of gospel and uh, my dad though by then he, his Swahili was not also all that. So alikuwa na hii Kiswahili moja moja yetu eh so he couldn't understand a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> now this is a funny thing. Every day Uh, he taught me to wake up at 4 praying so this guy used to wake up at 4 every single day 
so that was a must routine edo melala sangapi ama sangapi unamka unapiga magoti hata kama utalala hapo kinini you have to pray so that's one of the thing that he instilled in you yes and um worshiping we have to worship so one day there's a song ya yeah, TID was very very big by the yeah. yeah, actually it was siamini kama yeah. tuko wote <laughs> Yeah. So my dad didn't know if it, if it was just a no so he thought it was gospel. Kidogo ngi mbako church. So aliaza siamini kama tuko wote. Siamini kama tuko wote na Yesu. I love so telling you actually I was laughing that that's not a gospel song. <laughs> So you imagine my life was surrounded with a lot of gospel yes. yeah so we used to dance other people's song and all that and i developed a passion in also singing i went to the studio uh-huh. okay around comarock i did my first song it looked like it was peperusha So going back and forth I think by then studio ilikuwa kama 600 bob yes. so unapata do wapi this time no changa tu eh, unaambia dada nakupatia here okay. and there so at least this flow something so you can save go pay for the studio so nimeka karibu one month eh niki recording ngoma alafu nimetoka nao siku moja master iko kwa cd nimetoka nao studio alafu tukapata na wagondi wae sijui ni, ni regi artist mgani alikuwa anakuja Kenya wakati zacha tuna kitu wananiuliza unasikia ngarege nikasema eh na ni rege eh kama ni no me na zoda sina homeo nimelipia na then kwa studio wale watu mia siji ni flow pia bali dise ilikuwa ukirekodiwa unabaniwa unaenda wana delete eh wana delete sasa ngome meenda hivyo so i grew up in church continue dancing and uh we were in the same actually area uh, dk hope kid also the other side mm. calligraph Caligraph. also yeah he was very young though him, he wasn't seeing by then yeah. so the brother though was everything Span Span, yeah lamas was like all of us used to look up to him and uh, yeah we wanted to be like him so we started singing just because we want to be like him and uh, i think I, i was one of the first gospel artist to do bongo music in Kenya. What? Yes. So I uh, recorded a couple of them and then I uh, But now who are you recording with? Comarock. Now, uh, I told you by the time my dad alikuwa na instilize vitu kwa maisha yangu, life was going from just levels to level. Remember when I went to the studio the first time? I was only in the studio once. After that kulikuwa na computer college just around our place walikuwa wameshafungua hapo so i started learning computer so i knew how to make beats so i, I had not I, i i couldn't go to um i i think I, i couldn't afford studio so i went to actually i learned how to make beats fruit loops fruit loops kwa hiyo kwa hiyo place And then after that I think I got into computer sana. I was very fast in learning everything. So even I, I remember I got some work in Tao just installing things, assembling computers. That's how I was able to buy my own computer. Mm. So started a mini studio. Now I think by then tulikuwa tumeshahama tuko kwa nyumba kubwa kidogo. Like umehama Komorok. Uh, Tumehama tume Kayole. Mm-hmm. Now to no we still went to Kayole. My dad got a small promotion. I think now he was a youth leader or something and then now he wanted to marry. Mm. Yes, so we went to a bit sizable house. Eh uh, nikamwambia na kuja. Bas bado uko Kayole. Yes, Kayole okay. bado. Eh. So nikamwambia na kuja na computer aniambia hiyo lazima ukuje na receipt. Yes, I provided receipt. Then I started making beats. So eh. so just before we enter the beats mm. you used to the way one of the ways now you started making money mm. is unaenda ku install mm. una install nini na install softwares oh, uh, i'm assembling ma- then computer, yes then computers were about 10 i think 20 gs mm. about hiyo liko kama 100 k <laughs> <laughs> yeah so now assembling them and then you collect 
some few coins from that and then go back home. But what my dad did, he was very, he believed in me. And it's so funny, he couldn't see the future, but he knew there was something. So he used to empower me. Mm. Sana, sana. So... Um, in, in what way? Words or...? Still words and I, just enabling it. I, as long as it's something that it was right. Like making beats kwa nyumba mm. yake na nini ya Oh, loud. I get All what those you mean. things. Uh, going, even when I got to high school, um, I had problem. Kabisa. Uh, <laughs> mm. uh, Ilikuwa na shida, ilikuwa na tutoroka shule na enda mziki. Mm. Uh, either na enda kurekord pali or something. Because I wanted to be in music, but I didn't know which office I was called in music. Uh -huh. So I was all over in music. I yeah. understand it. So, so you, you get this computer. Mm -hmm. Unawekai computer kwa, kwa nyumba yako. Mm -hmm. So that's now... Kwa nyumba ya baba. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, it's now you, My dad. babako. Yes. Your, 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 he hasn't married yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. So you signed your nanza kutengineza beats. Yes. You get mm. But are you recording beats for other guys? No, no, just, yes, yes, yes.